kind of level. Come in about three inches. Go all the way down. Push the bottom in first. Because what you're doing there is you're pushing the air out of the bottom. And then you rock forward and you're pressing all that air out of there now. Okay. And I like to give it a, a stomp uh, when I'm done with it. So that's, that's basically it. Well, we've been doing these projects for, gosh, six, seven, maybe eight years already. And it's major, it's a major effort to try to re rehabilitate Mule Deer Winter Range that did get burned. We've done plantings like this in other places in the South Hills, in the Bennett Hills, uh, in the Sublet Mountains. Uh, deer have got to have good winter range, and these places have been burned over. We're trying to rehabilitate them. We've been getting hundreds, you know, thousands of volunteers over the years from, from Magic Valley schools, from volunteer groups, uh, people with sportsmen's organizations like the Mule Deer Foundation and other small, smaller sporting groups. Well, we got these seedlings from a contractor last fall. Um, he had grown a few extra, and uh, we were able to have him maintain the, the quality of the seedling over the winter, which is a little difficult sometimes because of temperature and moisture, but he was able to do that for us. And we have about almost 9,000 between this truck and then the other, the other vehicle that we have. actually driving out here through the sagebrush on a dirt road and Cindy's like look at all this you know and we were looking for the burn and and actually we drove past and then dri drove back past to get it back up here and, and just how much this burn actually burned and so it's good to help replenish the land to help put it back together again Folks just want to come out and do something good on the ground for wildlife. 